Hello and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we've got a mod to look at which is a very pretty affordable kind of affair with an interesting look to it. Um, now I'll go into this in a little bit more detail when we come back from the up close but uh, I did have a couple of challenges with this up front. Um, however things were changed out and we seem to have overcome them. However this isn't without its own challenges anyway and I'll explain more in a little while. But for now let's go for the up close and personal for the Wyvern. Um, 235 from Lassimo. Let's do that. Come on then. And here we are with the packaging for the Lassimo or Wyvern 235. Very straightforward. You've got the image on the box there and then on the back you do have a little bit of information that, uh, is that going to focus? Yeah, I think it just about is. You can have a read if you fancy pausing it and where you go. On the bottom there it does tell you what colour you've got in the box as well and you've got a scratch and sniff in the corner there with a little hologram for, uh, for proof of authenticity as well. Now taking this out We've got this kind of funky little Latimo packaging going on here um, and then a box that you have to try and get your nails in if you have any to come out. You do have a 90 day warranty card going on there. You have a manual going on there. The mod comes in this little plastic bag thing. And then underneath you do have a uh, USB cable in there for charging and so on as well. So that's that when it comes to the packaging. It's super straightforward. It's a mod at the end of the day. And this is the mod. Let's uh, let's zoom in just a little bit more for this one. Um, and, you know, as far as the mod goes, I think it looks quite nice. I think it looks quite attractive. This big screen on here does, um, or is a fingerprint magnet, as you can see already. That's uh, just a bit of a bloody nightmare. But uh, otherwise, this uh, this red has kind of got this kind of candy red but a matte finish going on which is very very nice indeed um, the black stripes down the end there and then you have this shiny bit down the the back you will have a little pull off protector situation going on there as well when you do get it you've got venting going on at the top which is a bit of a different area to have them on uh, fire button there on the corner and you do have your 510 kicking over a spring loaded 510 at the top there underneath nothing to be special at all now then to get the battery cover 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 to get the battery cover off is a little bit awkward because if you don't have nails it's, there's nowhere to kind of put your fingers to get it off and you can't grip hold of it very easily so you have to kind of try and get your fingernails down either down the side there or at the top there to uh, to take the thing off now the batteries have got these big old uh, big old contacts going on there. Um, I've not had any problems with them uh, with them grabbing hold of the batteries on the positive areas, so that's been good. Um, but uh, otherwise, it's super easy. Just pulling your your, uh, your ribbon there. It gives you the orientation of the battery, and it even tells you what type of battery to pop in there, which is uh, which is a thing. So we'll pop your batteries in there like so. Boom, and then at the bottom here, you'll see that there is a little catch area, and underneath the uh, door there, there is a little catch that goes into that. Hopefully you can see that there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just make sure the catch at the bottom is connected first, and then just let the magnets do their work and hold that in place. And that means that I haven't got much movement in the door, although that can happen. It takes a little bit of grief to make it happen, but that will happen, so you can potentially fiddle with it although it does take quite the beef to make that happen but no it is a thing that I've got to make you aware of now then to turn this on it's five clicks to turn on like so and we can see what the readout is like now it's very very reminiscent of um, of obviously the uh, the Yee boards and so on but uh, but there you go it is what it is now you'll notice that I is asking if I've got a new atomizer to go on there and there's there's no atomizer on there <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll click on yes just for shits and giggles and it then tells us, asks us if we want to go into power mode nickel titanium um, stainless steel DIY one or two so we'll choose power mode and uh, right away there you can see that if we do try and fire it does say to check atomizer because there's clearly nothing on there now if you want to uh, pop your atomizer on there at this stage it now asks us once again if it's a new atomizer so we'll say yes and yes, we'll go into power mode and where we go. So the, the bottom there is telling us the resistance. It's going to tell us the voltage in real time. And then it'll have a little puff counter there also. 
but that's about it when it comes to uh, to um, the the straightforward ease of use if you like now the plus and minus button together will take us into the menu that we saw earlier on so now we can choose between stainless steel or whatever we've got a stainless steel coil in there at the moment so I'll do that one and at this point I can now fire it now if I do the up and down I'm up and downing the wattage you'll see there so that's changing as I'm moving through it but uh, I want to change the uh, the temperature so what am I, how am I going to do that up and down together it takes us through to being able to change that temperature and put that wherever we fancy it firing and everything's a winner up and down for a longer period of time will take us back into the menu where once again we can choose power if we so wish so it's a fairly straightforward menu the fire and minus or down will get, take us into being able to set power resistance. So if you want to set your uh, resistance for any reason, you can do. Um, and the fire and plus button will make it locked as so. So it's uh, once again, it's not uh, it's not a crazy difficult system to use, but uh, it is just one of those things that you can use if you want. Now that plus and minus, um, it does help if you press the minus first, like so. So all in all, I think it's quite a good looking little mod. It does feel quite substantial. It's got a little bit of depth to it. Um, but uh, we do have some issues with the temp control, which I'll talk about when we go back up top again. But all in, you know, it looks all right. Let's go and have a vape. Alrighty then, so that was the up close with this little bad boy, the uh, Wyvern 235 from Lassimo, Lassimo, Lysimo, however you say it. That's that, it's from them anyway. Um, so it's quite a small, a little comfortable, compact little mod, dual battery, and uh, and seems to do a pretty reasonable job. Now, the, one of the challenges that happened when I first had one of these sent to me, uh, it would not read the correct resistance at all. It just wouldn't do it. And I had two sent, and they were both wrong so um, they both got kind of binned and the uh, well sent back and the uh, the the new ones got sent on to replace them now thankfully I've not had any issues with this jumping around re with resistance and it does do a jolly good job I've quite enjoyed using this from a comfort form factor it's pretty darn sweet and if you're using this especially if you're using it just in uh, power mode I think it does a pretty marvelous job now then a couple of things to highlight now what I've got on here at the moment is the 22 mil dripper X dream from uh, from the scrape guys from the uh, stack guys and um, it's it's it fits but there is a gap underneath and I've noticed that quite a number of the RDAs that I'll put on here will have a small gap which tells me that the the 510 pin doesn't have the depth that we'd, we would like with a lot of 510s these days now one of the other things to highlight is you see that there is this kind of plinth piece here that's what means that you can only really use a 22 mil RDA without any overhang now if I put this 24 mil um, vaporous from Watofo on top of it you'll see what I mean in as much as we do have overhang happening over there and uh, once again this doesn't sit entirely flat there is a little bit of a gap going on underneath that I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but uh, there is a little tiny gap going on and in this day and age I'm pretty sure we need most mods particularly the high power ones to be at least capable of having a flush fitting 24 mil RDA um, because only being able to kind of max out with 22s is a bit sucky to be honest with you um, however having said that because it's sort of set in unless you look at it you don't really pay attention to it but uh, yeah it is just one of those things that may annoy you if you do like things to be sitting flush and if you do like there not to be any gaps whatsoever um, now then when it comes to the performance it does perform pretty darn well in fact let's have a little vape here Now, whether it puts out the full 235, who knows? I would I would doubt it, to be honest with you, but um, I don't have any proof of that one. So I reckon it's going to be fairly well up there. I've certainly not noticed any issues on that kind of sub 100 watt level, which is kind of where I live most of the time. Uh, what I have noticed with this is in temp control mode, with using it in stainless steel, it does provide a quite a weak kind of vape. Um, so I have had to turn it up in both temperature and wattage in order to get the best kind of vape that I've been happy with. And 
and even then it's a little bit on that weak side whilst it does draw back a little bit when it does come to that kind of um, dry coil stage which is good I don't think it's the best temp control that you're going to experience um, but it kind of gives you an idea of it whether it's going to give you a positive idea of it or not is something altogether different and um, I don't mind this in uh, in full power or wattage mode though so you know it's been uh, it's been a sort of a little banger that I've been happy to pick up and use in favor of one other product that I've, I've yet to review um, of a similar kind of shape and sort of style but um, but no I mean all in all it feels comfortable it's kind of got a reasonable kind of feel to it the button is very clicky but it does have that kind of almost cheap feel to the clickiness of it um, but uh, but no it does a fine job the up and down buttons once again they don't feel expensive but uh, but for the for the amount you're going to be spending on this they aren't now then what I've looked at when it comes to price wise um, looking at um, what I've had a quick Google with and just sort of the the first kind of uh, the first page of it there the cheapest on that first page in the UK is 38.99 from gray haze in the UK and um, over in the States my vapor store looks like it has it for 49.99 in dollars um, and obviously you're going to see that at, at, at cheaper prices in some of the China websites as well so um, it's going to be if you'd like the look of it this one by the way is supposed to be styled on a Ferrari <laughs> <laughs> not quite sure I grasp that to be honest with you <laughs> but uh, but yeah it's one of those things um I think it I think it's okay I think it's okay and I think there's certainly a lot worse places that you can uh, you can spend your money um, particularly if you're using it predominantly in wattage mode I don't think it looks bad at all and um, if you if you can cope with that sort of gappage going on and the overhang of a 24 mil RDA then you're good to go size wise it's nice and comfortable in the hand easy to fire with that thumb fire on it up there at an angle and uh, and yeah it's not something I would rush out and buy however for the money it's uh, it's perfectly perfectly acceptable in my opinion anyway that's about it that's about all I can tell you on this Lassimo or Lassimo Lassimo Wavern Wyvern 235 and uh, I, uh, I'm interested to hear your comments. So if you like the look of this, think it looks anything like a Ferrari um, or whatever, then uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this little bad boy. But uh, otherwise, I will leave my subscription button down there and I'll leave a couple of other videos there and there. And uh, I will see you very, very soon. Have it large.